Hi guys, welcome back to The Pulse, I'm Marcel. We're in the holiday season, it's December. I don't know when you're watching this, but chances are most of you are gonna see this this month. So I wanna talk about the gift of NMN. I wanna talk about five benefits of NMN that we all experience, that we all appreciate. Whether you're taking NMN or not, many of these can impact you, which is kind of a cool thing. NMN has this reverberation effect of the people around us, and I'll talk more about that in a minute. Uh, NMN is under threat. Now, I've been taking it for 16 months. I've had 16 months of really uh, excellent quality life, and I always weigh the risk and rewards of, okay, I'm taking these supplements, uh, what are they doing for me, versus what would be the risks. And for me, the reward risk scenario, just the rewards just way outweigh the risks. And now I'm not surprised because I've been talking about this for, again, just about 16 months. And I keep saying, you know, I'm getting these benefits. And then viewers came back and started saying they were getting the benefits. And I know that over a thousand people through this channel, over a thousand people in just over a year, ordered NMN. And then I know from feedback, polls, personal communication, that about 80% of those people are also experiencing benefits. I personally believe the other 10, 20% are still getting benefits. They just didn't feel them because the benefits are mitochondrial, cellular in nature, and they're still going to help you whether or not you're necessarily feeling the energy boost or the focus boost right away. Bottom line is there's been so much feedback that's been positive. I keep sitting here and I've said this, I've pontificated about this in the past. The drug industry is going to try and stop this. They're going to try and stop this because it's a threat to them. Just seeing this from the big picture, I haven't been sick and I haven't taken any pharmaceutical medicine other than the mandated quote unquote required uh, vaccine boosters that I reluctantly took. I haven't been taking any pharmaceuticals at all, no over-the-counter stuff, which is typical for me, some ibuprofen here and there for aches and pains or maybe a slight fever, nose sprays, they're very popular in Germany when you get a sinus infection or a cold or a virus. I haven't needed any of those. I haven't taken my typical allergy medicine, Zyrtec. It has a, a name here, Cetrazine, I think it's called here in Europe. I haven't been taking that at all. It's been amazing to me as I kind of rearrange my shelves with the supplements I'm taking and throw away the pharmaceutical stuff because they're just now outdated. I haven't been taking them. And when they, get, they sit on the shelf for a year or two, you just throw them away if you don't use them. So I also haven't needed any prescription drugs. Now, I can only imagine as we superimpose this on a broader general public, more and more people experience this kind of wellness revolution, it's a threat to the drug industry. And we're seeing some very interesting signaling coming out of them. For one, Microbiotech, a company associated with David Sinclair, as I've talked about recently, put in a claim to the FDA for basically ownership of NMN, saying you, you can't allow this to be sold as a dietary supplement anymore. I believe there's a bigger play going on behind the scenes than just that that involves the entire pharmaceutical industry or drug industry and also the FDA. It's just my personal belief reading the tea leaves and also listening to David Sinclair talk about the fact that funding for uh, a new startup, a new biotech startup, is drying up right now due to economic reasons. And we may even see a situation where NMN remains in this limbo state because they just won't be able to enter the human clinical trials for the diseases that they proposed using NMN for due to funding shortages. Or they're going to be forced to take on a larger company that buys them out. And I don't know how that's going to play with the FDA when one company made a submission for a drug and then another company immediately buys them out. They may be standing in the wings or some of their funding for this application may have dried up. I don't know yet, but it's it's all very, very interesting and it's happening so quickly. Last week, there was a meeting with the FDA and some representatives from the supplement industry where they basically made their case, as Dan Fabricant reported, back to the public that NMN has been sold longer than this uh, submission was made and it's been sold in, in food, various foods, and as a supplement already. So it should be grandfathered in, essentially. We're going to see how this plays out. We're still in limbo. Now, Dick Durbin, a Democratic Illinois senator, 
is trying to push through an overhaul in this lame duck session. We're at December 7th, so they have just over a month left of this Congress, and they're trying to ram through an overhaul, basically a reforming of the dietary supplement rules that the FDA works under. I don't believe they're going to be able to push this through in such a short time frame, but it's very fascinating that all of this is happening at the same time, that there's this sudden urgency. So I pose to you, what if the drug industry is really behind this and they are frantically trying to stop NMN or substances like NMN that are causing disruption in the marketplace? They don't like disruption. No industry does, essentially. The only one that can benefit is the actual disruptor, which in this case is the dietary supplement industry. It's not just NMN. There are more and more human clinical trials for other substances that are showing promise, health benefits, real health benefits. People all over the world are turning to nutrition and nutrient-rich supplements for better health, better wellness. Therefore, they're getting sick less. They're taking less pharmaceutical drugs. So it's a fascinating thing that's going on. I want to Again, return back to NMN now and talk about these five benefits because for me, it's been the cornerstone of this health improvement. It's been a great gift. And speaking of gifts, Do Not Age just introduce a couple gift bundles. I think this is pretty cool because typically supplements are marketed toward the supplement taker, towards you and I, people who are already taking or interested in taking supplements. But when you have a gift bundle, that is essentially a starter bundle or a Kickstarter bundle, you can now gift that to people. And I've told, I've, I've told people about NMN personally. I'm not just talking, I'm talking about family members and close friends. They've seen me, they've seen me change, they've seen me lose weight, they've seen me look youthful, they've seen my um, energy levels go up, and I'm definitely a lot busier than I used to be. And they asked me, what's going on? What are you doing? Um, one person literally said, looks like you found the fountain of youth. That's a friend of mine that I've had since I was five years old that's known me my whole life. And then looked at some recent pictures and go, they just went, what are, what's going on with you? So I've wanted to give NMN to other people, along with some other supplements, you know, resveratrol, quercetin especially. So there's a small bundle that has 60 caplets of each, and then there's a larger bundle that has a year supply. So check out those that do not age. And of course, you save another 10%, as always, when you use my code, the pulse. So to the five benefits that I've experienced, that I think more people are going to experience, the first one has been to my own health, and in this case, a benefit to your own personal health. That has a lot of implications. Matter of fact, the other four benefits are all derived from that one big benefit. I mentioned not you know, taking any more medicine, but I've also been more active. I've also been inspired to intermittent fast and basically time restrict my eating habits, and I've almost completely. There are days that go by that I don't consume any sugar, any alcohol, or any meat at all. I've, I've reduced some of my meat intake, and not even intentionally. It's just that I, I haven't been desiring meat. I, if anything, I desire more nuts, more vegetables, more fruits. Uh, it's winter, so I found myself eating a few oranges now. I don't eat a lot of citrus throughout the year, but because it's winter, I just naturally started kind of craving it around Christmas time, that flavor. So I'm living a lot healthier with NMN as the cornerstone for that. And I think that I've heard from so many other people that are also living healthier that I think the number one benefit is clearly to your own health. The number two benefit is that NMN can extend your productive years. So not only this short-term, if you will, health benefit, but then you begin to say, well, Myself, again, as an example, for 16 months, I've been more productive, more energy, napping less. I would say on average six, seven hours additional per day of productive hours. Basically, energy, focus, the desire to do stuff. And it's caused me to clean up around the house. It's caused me to start cleaning the garage, which I thought I'd never get to. Uh, keeping the car cleaner more often. I mean, silly stuff maybe, but I'm, I'm sort of organizing my life to then institute more projects that I'm working on because I've begun to plan around that health boost. 
So benefit number one is leading me to benefit number two, which is to start to calculate the fact or factor in that I'm going to be more productive for the next 16 months and the next 16 months. The likelihood goes up. In life in general, I used to work in a weather station for the Air Force, and the best forecast was stick your head out the window because things rarely change. I know that weather can change in some parts of the world very dramatically and very quickly, but the odds are, at least for the next few hours, things aren't going to change. So when you want to go outside in the winter, you stick your head outside, you see how cold it is because it's probably not going to change in four hours, so wear a coat if it's cold. Um, And that's how I'm planning my life now. I'm saying, well, I had 16 great months. I'm probably going to have another. It's changing the way I'm doing everything. It's changing the way I'm constructing this studio and to bring in more music gear so I could start making more music with this extra energy. Um, It's changed the way that I'm planning vacations, the types of vacations, the frequency of those vacations. All of that has been derived from the fact that I'm going to be more productive, that I'm going to want to take some free time because my earnings have begun to go up. Literally, my earnings have started to go up from the productivity. I never even thought about that. I didn't take NMN to start being more productive, to start earning more at almost 60 years old. I took NMN uh, because I was overweight, out of shape, achy, Uh, sick a lot of the time, and I thought that maybe, and basically aging, and I thought, well, maybe there's something to this, I'll give it a shot, and it's worked wonders for me. Benefit number three are the impacts on your family. Again, from my own perspective, superimposing it out to you, but my family love the fact that I'm taking an amend. They love it because I'm in a better mood most of the time. We're doing more together. Um, they, They like how I look. They like that I'm wearing different clothes. I didn't buy clothes for five years because what's the point? I look like crap no matter what I buy. But I feel like I look better now, so I'm buying some new things. And they sort of see that and they like, oh, I like that shirt. I like those shoes. And I think they're just more proud of me. They're more proud of being with me. Not that life needs to be so superficial or about looks or whatever, but my kids respond to it. I play more tennis with them. I'm more active. They ask me to go outside and go do something or ride bikes. My answer is way more often uh, yes than no, which it used to be no. And as bad as I kind of, as guilty as I kind of feel saying that, I'm really proud of the fact that I now say yes way more often to let's go for a walk, to let's go ride our bikes, let's go play tennis, Uh, Let's go to another town and walk around, which is a cool thing to do here in Germany. It's impacted my family. And, you know, if anything, I wish there was something for my kids to stop getting them from getting sick because last couple of weeks, they've been coughing, sneezing, getting sore throats, and I've been running around taking care of them. And fortunately, haven't gotten it yet, knock on wood, but yeah, haven't gotten whatever they're getting. And it didn't happen last time they got sick and it didn't happen the time before. So I almost wish there were some children's supplements other than what I'm trying to do now for them is give them more orange juice and more chicken soup. And and, uh, that seems to help some, but certainly not not curing illness the way that NMN appears to have done for me. Now, I kind of touched on number four, which is an economic renaissance. Um, This is both personally and I believe on a wider scale, the potential exists just from NMN. Even though it's not a cheap supplement, I think as you get people who are skilled being more productive in their 50s, 60s, 70s, um, they are earning more. They are investing more. This creates more activity. Yes, less money for the medical industry and the pharmaceutical industry, but that's a good thing because it's going to save us all money on our insurance ultimately or on our pharmaceutical drugs ultimately. So I think there are economic ramifications of NMN that we can't even yet anticipate. I can just tell you I'm spending less on things to keep me well. I'm spending less on garbage foods and investing in higher quality foods. That is paying dividends for me, the productivity, the mental sharpness, and my ability to earn because I'm doing more of my projects that earn me money now because I have more time, more interest, more focus. I'm able to sit down and do it longer. I rarely ever nap. And if I do, it's a 15-minute nap. 
So my own personal economics has been impacted. And this is something I didn't realize until the last couple of months. So I've never talked about it before. But I'm sharing that with you in hopes that you'll kind of see the potential there. Um, number five is kind of huge, and I've seen it again here. If I'm cleaning up my house, if I'm cleaning up my car, basically I'm remaking the world around me. And I think NMN and things like NR, by the way, and any deep boosting and wellness in general, uh, natural medicine, uh, can remake the world we live in and make it less about pharmaceuticals and less about illnesses and less about um, dying uh, in a middle age, you know, we kind of live our lives thinking that there's a, a timer and it's going to run out at 50 or 60 and our life is just going to start to dip. So we sort of don't plan to be healthy and active till 70, 80, 90 years old. But what if young people become inspired by my story and others? And I get a lot of people saying, hey, should I be taking this? Well, probably not, you know, unless you're a super active athlete or you have some specific Lyme disease or something that NMN could be good at treating or even long COVID. But if you don't have any of these acute illnesses that maybe NMN could certainly help with, um, but you could still take on a general life of wellness, a healthier lifestyle. Because if you're planning to be active until you're 70, 80, 90, and you see other people in advanced ages being more active, you might recalculate how you live your life at a younger age. And you may say, hmm, I better take better care of myself because I'm going to need this body decades longer than I thought. Whereas I never even envisioned life after 50 or 60. Because when I was 20 and 30, I thought like, this is it. You know, I'm going to be like this. And later, I'm not even giving it any thought because I'm going to feel like crap and I'm going to be overweight and I'm going to lose all my hair, which eh, I'm doing a pretty good job trying to do. But essentially, uh, I'm, I'm back in one piece again. And so had I known, if I could talk to my younger self and say at 25, 30, look, stop with the Coca-Cola. Stop with the, with the Tylenol. Stop with so much alcohol. Stop uh, abusing yourself. Exercise more. Eat more vegetables because that body is going to be mine one day. If I could talk to my younger self, I would certainly say uh, you're going to be active and healthy way longer than you think, and you should do something about it now. That's what I tell myself. That's what I'm telling you. So young people, older people, those are my five benefits have a happy holidays. I'll see you again soon.